Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to add and remove codes from your smart lock. So this would be any Z-Wave or Zigbee smart lock that you have connected to smart things already. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the proper device handler is being used on your smart lock. So if we go into the smart things IDE, and I'll leave a link in the video description on how to get to this. Um, I'm going to do it right on my phone here, um, relatively easy. And we just need to log in, which is the very last blue option here. Tap the login. And then you're just going to log in with your Samsung account. Right now, once you're logged in, what you need to do is go to your devices. So in the upper right hand corner, just click on the three little lines. And then we just need to go down a little bit further and we need to find devices. And then you just need to find your lock or locks. So if you have more than one, you just want to check all of them. I'm going to show you how to change that now. So you see the front lock is in blue text. Just tap on the front lock there. It's going to open up all the details of the front lock. And then what you want to do is go down to the bottom and click on edit. And once in here, what you the most important part here is the type. So we're just going to click on the type drop down. And then you have all of these different options. And here's where you can change the type. So if you had um, a Zigbee lock, then you could choose it right here. Um, there's only two choices on that one, Zigbee lock or Zigbee lock without codes. So we have a Z-Wave lock right here, Z-Wave lock. You have three different choices on Z-Wave lock. You have Z-Wave lock without codes and with codes. So just leave it on Z-Wave lock. Um, they should import properly, but just be sure that this is set up because it's going to be very frustrating um, if this is not set right and you're trying to do this and it doesn't work. So once you make your final decision on your type, just click on the update at the bottom. And then you can see at the top of the screen here, it says front lock updated. All right, now that we have checked our device handler and we know that that is set up properly, what we can do is add the smart app to manage our locks. So to do that, just go up to the upper left-hand corner on the three little lines, tap that. And what we want to do is go to Smart Apps. Now once in the Smart Apps section, we're going to have to add a Smart App. All right, now to add a Smart App, just go up to the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And what we want to do is install the Smart Lock Guest Access. So it's the one here with the purple lock on the left. Tap on that. And then here it's going to just tell you it's going to be able to create and manage guest access codes for your smart lock. And obviously it does require a smart lock. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click continue. And then here um, you would be able to um, select your locations or your devices. We're going to go ahead and click allow. All right, and now it should be in our list. So if we go down a little bit further here, you can see here with the um, white um, house icon with the lock that is the smart lock guest access so now we've added it to our smart app section so if we go out and it should show on our um, home screen here but it's not showing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to force close the app and then reopen it and see if it shows up and go back into the app And there you go, it finally showed up here at the top. So you can see that something is unlocked, so it's bright red. And if we tap into it, um, you can see that the front door is unlocked. So I can lock the front door just by tapping here. See it says locking. And now it's blue and everything is good. So if you had more than one lock, all of the locks would show here. Um, and you'd easily be able to control them. Now, if you go up to where it says locks and there's a little arrow pointing down, that means there's something more there. And there is your lock codes. 
So let's go ahead and add some lock codes. You can see that I have created a code for me, Justin. And if you want to add more codes, what you need to do is go down to the bottom and click on invite guest. And then here, what you're going to do is just going to say who is going to be using this. So let's just do test two. And um, you're going to assign a lock. And then you're going to put in a code. Say if we just for test two, we're just going to put in two, 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 two and click done. And then at the very bottom on the right hand side, just click create code. And then it's going to take a minute and create that code. And now you can see that it says test two assigned to front lock. And you can also share this with someone. So if you needed to say share it with someone that's going to be walking your dog, you could just send them a text message with the information for their code. If we just go back, just tap on the back button in the upper left hand corner. Now you can see that we have Justin and test two. So same thing, you can add, um, I think up to 250 codes maybe. I wouldn't recommend doing that many because the chances of someone guessing the code would be relatively high, but you could do test three. Now I'm going to actually go down to our lock and demonstrate me using the code. That way you can see that it works and then I'll delete a code and show you that it doesn't work after it's deleted. All right, so we are down here at our front lock now. And you can, if you remember, our test two was two, 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 two. So if I type that in, it unlocks. Now, if we go in and actually delete this code, so we just go into test two and at the bottom hit delete and delete. All right, now you see that our lock code has been deleted and it's no longer in the list. So now if we try the 222 again, so the door is locked now, and now let's try the 222. No work. So it's not gonna work because um, we deleted the code. Now we do have test three in here, which is 3333. So let's give that a shot. Check mark that still works. So same deal, if we were to delete that one, it would also be deleted and you wouldn't be able to use it. So as you can see, it works. You can add them, you can delete them right in the SmartThings app. You don't have to get into the app of the actual lock. And this will work for all different brands of locks. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible, and I will see you in the next video.